What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Today's video discussion is going to be on my personal reg set or reg sets that I use day in, day out. Now, I'm fortunate enough that I do own a dive shop and I've got a lot of different reg sets that I use and I'm going to try to make this video as brief as I can, but I want to go in a little bit of detail and show you what regs I use and why I choose to use them. Now, a little disclaimer here too, I'm not going to be able to show you every single reg. I'm currently transitioning all my side mount regs into a new system that Mares has come out with and unfortunately since they've come out at DEMA I've not been able to get those new regs in so I'm not going to show you my current side mount regs because unfortunately my side mount system is something that keeps transitioning day in day out so until I get it set just the way I want it I'm going to kind of keep it as a secret and, and show you in a future video. But the first reg set that I'm going to show you is my primary go-to reg for any cold water diving, any deep diving, and I actually use this reg a lot to teach with. I usually don't teach open water with it, but this is what I teach a lot of my advanced courses or the specialty courses in, and there's two different configurations, and I'm going to try to show you both configurations with this one. So basically, it is just a... Uh, cold water reg system. This is the Mares Navy Abyss 22. It's got the cold water kit here. And one thing you'll notice is I dive all yoke valve systems. I don't dive re any den valve systems. At least I don't anymore. Um, and I've got several different hoses on here. Now, like I said, th this reg does transition. I'm going to show you both um, configurations that I use with this reg because right now it is currently set up for cold water diving, salvage diving, deep diving, stuff like that. But what I have here is for the second stage, I dive the Navy Abyss 22. Um, it, it's what comes standard with the Navy Abyss 22. But I do have the moldable mouthpiece on it. I really like that, especially if you're cold water diving. You know, if you're in really cold water, your face goes numb, you need something to be able to bite down on. And considering it's got my teeth marks in it where I've molded it, it fits my mouth very well. And I've never had an issue of losing my reg for that. For the alternate, I dive the Mares MV, second stage. And most of my alternates, if not all, are on the necklace system. So it basically hangs here below my neck. And if I ever need it, it's there. I can donate primary and immediately go to this. Or if I need to, it's still quick release. I just pull it out of the bungee and hand it off to a buddy in the event that I need him. Now, this alternate actually comes off and I put a different hose on for a different type of diving that I do a lot and I'm going to show you that here briefly. But if I move over to the left side, I'm going to have two low pressure hoses. One's for the low pressure inflator and of course the other one is for my dry suit. On this particular reg set, I have the Mares Puck Air. It's an air integrated dive computer and of course it does have the analog compass up top and the way I attach that of course is just a bolt snap that clips off to either a D-ring on my hip or a D-ring up on my shoulder depending on where I need to locate it at any time. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the second configuration that I use this reg for and talk a little bit about it. And I'm going to come back to the computer because I know in my computer episode, I talked about why I use this computer as far as a particular style of diving that I do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unscrew this hose, which is my alternate hose. Now, a lot of diving that I do in my area, of course, is public safety diving. And when I do public safety diving, I actually replace my alternate with this quick release hose here. And my primary, which is the second stage Navy Abyss, actually becomes my alternate during public safety work. And I screw this quick release hose on, and I'll show you what it's for. Anytime I do public safety work, and sometimes when I do salvage work, of course I wear the full face mask. So my primary becomes the integrated regulator that comes with the ocean reef full face mask and that quick release simply pops on now when do i set this up for public safety of course if i've got a call out that's a recovery something that i've got time to get my gear ready for stuff like that i'll leave it set up in the other configuration and then i can simply switch out hoses as soon as i get to the scene or i can switch it out before i even leave to go now with that being said in the summertime i leave it set up just in this configuration here the mask goes in the box my red goes in a separate box but everything's kind of together and all I've got to do is just jump out pop it in now it's more likely that I get call outs during the summertime than I do in the wintertime so most of the time in the summer it is set up in this configuration not the configuration of the other one now the next reg that I'm going to show you is actually my primary go-to pony system in the in the wintertime and let me talk a little bit about why I do that in the wintertime 
The one, of course, that I use is the Marez 12S. Okay, it's standard yoke 12S, and it's got the Marez MV paired with it on the second stage. Now, I really like this for a pony rig for several reasons. As far as simplicity, it's basically a no frills, no thrills. Um, it is a diaphragm style rig, but basically it's on the mild flex hose. Now, I can't really think of a reason of why you'd want to tie your hose in a knot, but for some reason, if, if you ever had to, I like the mild flex because you're not going to damage it. It folds up into a nice little neat package. And what I really like about the MV, and I don't know if I told you on my other setup, I can donate this in any fashion, any shape, any way that I can. If you notice on most second stages, it has to be in that upright position. If you flip it upside down and try to breathe from it, it'll still breathe but you're more than likely going to take on water as you do that as well with the mv and with the exhaust being on the side you can actually donate in any way shape or form that also allows me since this is my pony primary pony rig if it's hanging under my left arm i can actually pull it up and in any fashion or any way shape or form breathe off that rig so i really like this for that. Now, this guy actually has a different setup as well. Now, like I said, in the summertime, my primary reg system stays set up for public safety work. So this one becomes my primary go-to teaching reg or any, any other type of diving that I need reg system. And I'm going to show you another pony system that I've replaced this one with when this one becomes my primary. So let me set this one up real quick for you. And basically what I do is I take the alternate that I had on the other system and it actually screws in to this reg system and becomes my alternate as well anytime this is my primary go-to reg system, which is pretty much anytime I'm in summertime months, if you will. So I have it paired with that. I also have two low pressure hoses, okay? The two low pressure hoses, of course, one will be for... Um, my dry suit and the other one of course is for my low pressure inflator and then for gauge purposes what i use is just a single pressure gauge and of course it has the bolt snap as well i really like the bolt snaps they're nice and secure they're easy to get on and off if i need to for whatever reason and then my primary pony rig system in the winter time becomes my primary go-to rig system in the summertime because like i said the configurations do change as well so let me get this one screwed in for you real quick and then essentially what i've done is took my primary reg system which is the mares 12s or primary pony system i have a primary i have an alternate which once again they match hangs under my neck i can donate either one and i also like the fact with the mvs i can donate in any position need be I have two low pressure lines, one for a low pressure inflator, one of course for a dry suit, and then I have just a single pressure gauge on a bolt snap that I can clip off to a hip D-ring. And so my pony system has become my primary rig system anytime it's summertime months or like that, and I have my public safety rig set up. Now I'm going to show you two more rig sets that I use day in, day out, depending on what configuration I'm set up in and what type of diving. So give me just a second here. Both of these regs are for pony bottle purposes or alternate air source purposes. The first one that I'm going to show you here is kind of an oldie goldie. This is a Sherwood Minimus, and I've got it on a just an older Sherwood Brute. And I, I want to talk a little bit about why I use this. Now, I no longer sell Sherwood, but I, it, I think it's a great company. Um, and I grew up using Sherwood, so I really like Sherwood gear. Unfortunately, this Brute... I have about five repair kits for it, and when those repair kits are gone, I can no longer use this reg because I'll no longer be able to service this reg, and unfortunately, Sher Sherwood has discontinued the repair kits for this particular reg. But I want to show you something very cool about this reg. If we think of traditional setup, imagine this is on a tank, and the reg comes over from the right side. What I want you to notice is, if it comes from the right side, this regulator is upside down. Now imagine for a second if I brought the primary from my left side 
it actually looks like it, it, it's in the right position. And it, it's not a left-handed model per se, although it really is a left-handed model. This was actually part of an integrated Minima system, or what they called the shadow system that Sherwood did. So extending off from this piece was a little uh, H valve, if you would, and it came down to another low-pressure inflator. So this was one of the original integrated low-pressure inflator breathable reg systems or alternate reg system. All I did was just unscrewed that part off and screwed the reg itself straight into a low pressure line. And the reason I did that, if this is a pony reg that I use a lot and my pony is hanging from my left side, as I bring that hose up, I didn't want to have to bring it up in this fashion. I wanted to be able to bring it up and it be in that, that right position. And if you look, there's not much of an entanglement here. It's, it's almost the perfect length, kind of like I do for side mount. So I wanted that left-hand model, and unfortunately, there's not many left-handed models unless you go out and you buy you uh, a left-handed model for side mount or anything like that. But with this one, it worked out just fine. All I did was just took that little H part off that plugged into your low-pressure inflator of your BC and then screwed the regulator directly right back in to the hose and it made a left-handed model which works really good now what do i use this for a lot of times if i'm teaching classes where the students need an alternate air source maybe i'm teaching a deep course or something like that then i will use this as a classroom model for the students or if i just need a backup to my backup and i can't really think of why i do that but if i ever did this was my primary go-to uh, system for an example if i'm using my um alternate system or my pony system in the summertime as a primary then i can use this as my regulator of choice or pony regulator of choice during the summertime months so let me show you one more this, too, is a old Sherwood brute that I, I'm not sure if I've got any repair parts for this one. I'll have to look. But one thing about Sherwood is they made a really good regulator that was almost indestructible. The problem was is as they got newer regs out there, they couldn't get nobody to buy them. So they had to quit making parts for these older regs that were really reliable and hard to tear up to get people to buy their new systems. So fortunately, I had enough repair parts because I used to work for a Sherwood dealer and I've always dove Sherwood, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to run out of parts for these, so I gotta look to see if I got one. But this is pretty much just an old Sherwood brute from the early 80s, if not late 70s. And I really like it because it's a workhorse. I do have a six inch hose on this one with a gauge. Now on the last one that I showed you, I've got just a little tiny button gauge or pony gauge there. But on this one here, I do have a six inch. Now what I use this guy for is anytime I go ice diving or anytime I'm in a public safety situation, I always put my pony tank back here on my back. Now with that being said, I usually take this guy, come off the pony tank and it stains here or it hangs right here below my neck. Now in a public safety situation, of course I'm always in a full face mask. So if I ever have to ditch it and go to an alternate air source, I want this one hanging directly under my neck. And of course, in an ice diving situation, the reason I ice dive with the pony on my back versus up front is because the tending harness that I wear, I have a rope from the surface come down in that tending harness. I don't want any additional cylinders or hoses or ropes or anything getting in the way of that tending harness in the event of an emergency. So my tending harness is hanging about here and my alternate reg is hanging about here. So if I ever have to ditch a mask, ditch a reg, whatever, Bam, I've got it there. So that's why this guy goes on my back. This one hangs on a necklace directly up underneath my arm. Now, I don't typically worry about how much air is in that pony system if I'm not using it on a day-in, day-out basis or as a primary air source, but I do want to know how much air is in it when I set it up, so I simply just put a six-inch hose. So this is another pony rig that I use depending on whether I'm ice diving or I'm public safety diving and I need something on my back or an additional air source, that's where I'll put it. Now, I've had a lot of people in the past see some of the videos of our public safety dives and they'll say, well, why do you put that pony bottle on your back versus putting it under your arm? 
because most of the time I do prefer to hang my alternate air source or sling my alternate air source underneath my left arm. Whether it's pony bottles for alternate air, whether it's a stage bottle for decoing as I'm coming up, or even a side mount, I prefer to have them here versus back here. Well, it's real simple. In public safety work, I do not want anything up front getting in my way, uh, contaminating a scene or anything like that when I'm under the water. Yes, on side mount or ponies, they're on your side, but it's a lot easier if I have everything back here in the back and I can deal with everything up front, taking pictures, collecting evidence, something like that. Same thing in ice diving. Anything that I can to eliminate any type of entanglement hazard, I don't want it up front. If I can put it on my back, it's very easy to put it on my back. Usually when I ice dive, I'm under the water 20 minutes or less. Same thing with a public safety situation. I'm in the water 20 minutes or less. So I'm not really worried about you know, entanglements or anything like that. Yes, there are entanglement situations that I do get into. However, 20 minute dive, it's very short. I got a very specific purpose that I'm doing that dive on. So traditional back mount, pony bottle on my back for those two situations, I style in public safety and I'm good to go. But guys, these are my primary regs that I use day in, day out. The Mares Navy Abyss is my go-to teaching rig, diving rig, deep rig, whole nine yards. In the summertime, it becomes my public safety rig and my primary becomes my alternate, my full face mask becomes my primary, and the alternate comes off and becomes an alternate for my pony system, which becomes my primary reg anytime in the summertime. As far as my primary pony system, it's the Mario's 12S with the MV as the uh, alternate or the second stage on it. That becomes a primary, alternate from the first goes on to it. It becomes my primary teaching rig throughout the summertime. And then, of course, I had the two additional pony systems that I use, whether it's a sling system or whether I'm or a stage system, if you will, or if it's on a back mount system. But if you got any questions on any of these models or anything like that, simply put it down in the comment section below. I promise I'll try to get to you or get back to you as quickly as I can. Guys, I really appreciate you watching these videos. I hope you like this series on my personal gear that I use day in, day out. If you got a question on it, simply let me know. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.